I grew up with two sisters, and it was usually my job to take care of bug invasions and cleanse the immediate area of apparent danger whenever spiders, centipedes, or whatever appears. I'd be in my room and suddenly hear a scream, ah! and a cry for my help. I get there and I'd be like, what? What is it? I'm fighting Sephiroth right now and Donald keeps dying. This better be important. Kill it! Oh my god, kill it! But it's not hurting anyone. Kill it! But it's on the ceiling. Kill it! But I don't care, just kill it! Now, I neither like nor dislike bugs. I don't have a phobia of them, but I don't welcome them with open arms when they enter the same room that I'm occupying. I actually used to be pretty brutal with bugs. One time a spider crawled up my wall and I caught it in my peripheral vision. So I grabbed the nearest book in arm's reach and launched it at the wall, obliterating the spider and whatever hopes and dreams it had. There was carnage on the wall, there was carnage on my book. I wiped it off my book, but whatever was left on the wall I didn't clean it off and kept it there as like a message I guess for any future trespassing bugs who were like, bro, I need to get to the ceiling. Are you crazy man? While he's around? Did you see what he did to Will? Yeah, you right. It's probably been like eight years since I killed Will, but his bloodstains are still on that wall. When I used to live in Virginia, my family and I lived on the first floor of this townhouse complex. One day, I noticed an ant colony found its way into my room, and I realized that they had found a piece of cookie that fell in the gap of my table and the wall. I tell my dad and he's like, here's some bug spray, good luck. And that can of bug spray was pretty much full when I got it, but by the time I was done, it was probably more than half empty. I spray those ants as much as I put cheese on my pasta, okay? If I even see a square millimeter of pasta, I don't got enough cheese. Give me the cheese, boss. If I saw an ant, that ant gotta be drowned in bug spray. So after the massacre that took place in my room, I stood on the battlefield among all the carcasses and indulged in my victory. Went to bed, and the next morning I found myself very ill due to the lingering toxins of the excessive bug spray that I used. I inhaled that shit all night. Truly ironic. Good game, ants. Good. Good. Good game, I, I played myself. 16 year old Dom, you, you played yourself. But I've mellowed out a bit now with bugs, I think. I actually have this unwritten policy with them if they ever enter my line of sight. Basically, if I catch you on the premises, you get a warning. I let you proceed with whatever business led you to getting caught by the lethal human who occupies this space. But if I see you again, you're dead. I mean, it might be a bit unfair since I don't exactly communicate this agreement to them, but I I'm sorry, if, if you're just passing by, then that's cool, but if I know you're lingering around, then you gotta die. I can't have you crawling in my mouth while I'm sleeping. Nope, can't let that happen. Sorry, I'ma have to end you. And I don't go all starship troopers on them anymore. I keep it a little more civil now and give them the Charmin treatment, followed by the trash can treatment. But if it's lucky enough to be caught on the first floor by a door or window, then I'll probably set it free. I do have some exceptions for first sightings though. If you're coming for my food, you're dead. If you're crawling on me, somewhere on my body, you're dead. If you're on my bed, you did. If you're 5 cubic centimeters or larger in volume, then my bad. Take the house, I, I don't want it no more, I'm setting it on fire. I say all this, but honestly, the bugs I encounter don't even come close to the kind of demons people in other countries have to deal with. Australia, for example? Like, what? What? What even? How even? Why? Are you guys okay over there? And it's not even just bugs. I wouldn't be surprised if you're from Australia and you're halfway into a snake right now while you're watching this. And if you are, well, shit. You loyal. I appreciate that. Oh boy, guess what's back again? School time! Well, for you guys anyway. <laughs> I've been done with that for years now. <laughs> oh man, I'm old. Anyway, you guys know I love anime, and more so affordable merch of anime. This month, Loot Anime's theme is Demi Human, including items from One Punch Man, Bleach, Tokyo Ghoul, and Twin Star Exorcists. Just a quick run through of how Loot Crate works for the newcomers. It's a monthly subscription service for all sorts of merch. For Loot Anime, you pay less than $25 a month, you get a selection of items ranging from t-shirts, manga, posters, figures, worth more than double what you pay. The cutoff for the month's themed crate is the 19th at 9pm PST. And all future crates henceforth shall be automatic as long as you stay subscribed. 
If you sign up at LootCrate.com slash Domix or click on the link in the description and enter the code Domix, that's D-O-M-I-C-S, you can get 10% off on new subscriptions. Last month, the theme was Back to School and had a few cool stuff from Danganronpa, Ass Class, and Persona 3. But hey, no worries if you missed that one, there's plenty of cool new upcoming stuff in future crates. One more time, that's LootCrate.com slash Domix with the code Domix to save 10% on new subscriptions. Link in the description below. Enjoy!